suppose we have a regular polygon such that the interior angle is 19 times as large as the exterior angle. How many sides does the polygon have? So to start off, let's sort out this business of interior and exterior angles. So just use an octagon as a representative of a regular polygon. Let's take a look at what we have. So for the interior angle, I'm going to pick a vertex, and then this angle will be the angle on the inside of the polygon. For the exterior angle, I can work off the same vertex. We'll take either edge, extend the line out, and then the exterior angle will be the angle between this line and the other edge. So you note, if I put the angles together, that's going to give me the half plane. So that means the sum of the angles will be equal to 180 degrees. So we're going to make big use of this. So the first thing we note, if I call the exterior angle x because it's smaller, then the interior angle is going to be 19 times as large, so that'll be 19x, and their sum is going to be equal to 180 degrees. So that's going to give me 20x is 180 degrees, or x is equal to 9 degrees. So that's my exterior angle, and then we note the interior angle is just going to be the difference between 180 and 9, so it's 171 degrees. Next step, let's take our polygon, we're going to put it in the center, and then we're drawing all the segments going from the center to the vertices. What's going to happen? This is going to carve up our polygon into a bunch of triangles. Note two facts about these triangles. First fact, these triangles are all going to be congruent, so we can see that by side angle side. Next, these triangles are going to be isosceles because the distance from the center to each vertex is always going to be the same. So if the sides are the same, that means these opposite angles are also going to be the same. So we'll give these angles a label, say Z, and then I'll give this inner angle the label Y. Now, note our interior angle is going to be equal to the sum of these two guys here. So it's going to be Z plus Z gives me my interior angle, which is 171 degrees. So we have 2Z equals 171. I also have, okay, since this is any old triangle, the sum of the angles has to be equal to 180 degrees. Putting these together, we're going to note that's going to mean this inner angle here is going to be equal to 9 degrees. So, question becomes, how many of these triangles can I fit inside the polygon? Or, how many times can I fit 9 degrees into, okay, one loop around is 360 degrees? So, 9 degrees into 360 degrees, we can do that 40 times. So that means I can put 40 triangles into my polygon. But, note, each polygon contributes exactly one edge to the outside. So that's going to mean our polygon has 40 sides.